How's everyone doing tonight? Woo! Woo! Yeah, I just dropped my pick somewhere. Oh, there it is. Good start. Right. <laughs> it's still a bit high, but that's okay. Can you guys hear me all right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, first of all, I'd like to talk a little bit about being poor. Because, you know, it kind of sucks being poor. Last time I was doing stand-up, I talked about, you know, how I was going for my license. So I finally, I did get my license. I am driving, so woo! woo, woo. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And what I've realized with driving is I have absolutely no money now. Because every single cent goes to gas. And, you know, uh, if I'm going to get my own car, I have to pay for my own car. I have to pay for my insurance. And I mean, I'm an actor, so I'm essentially unemployed, so I'm kind of screwed that way. Uh, you know, uh, hold on just one second. I'm a little more prepared than Aaron, except I wrote it on my phone. So, okay, perfect. So, uh, a lot of people say that your dog is your best friend. Uh, I disagree. When you're poor, the dollar store is your best friend. So you walk over to the dollar store, and you open the door, and you're like, Everything's a dollar. <laughs> and then you go to the counter and you've spent thirty-seven fifty on glow sticks and you're like, oh fuck me, right? <laughs> uh, I did uh, go to the dollar store with my mom. Uh, we went and we were picking out a retirement card for a friend of hers, and so we're we're searching through these cards and we pick out this uh, this one card that we've been searching for, and we we go, we pay, and as we're walking out. I feel a chill, like a Persian person is staring at me, and I turn, and sure enough, a, the Persian manager of the dollar store was staring at me. So I kind of glanced back, and just beyond him, I kind of took a double take, but then I, I saw bras hanging on the wall of the dollar store. And I'm like, wow, you know, dollar store bras, I'm sure those are frickin' comfortable. But then I thought about it, and you know, like in a down economy, you know, dollar store bras, giving you the support you need even when you can't support yourself. <laughs> you know, I did go uh, shopping for clothes because I needed new clothes. Uh, I, didn't buy, I didn't buy bras, but I did buy jeans. And uh, I feel like I'm at a loss when I go shopping for jeans because there's like boot cut, low cut, high rise, straight leg, skinny jeans. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Uh, but what I did, I walked into this one store and they had their, their jeans name. So if you wanted like a low rise straight leg, you're looking at Dylan or there, there might be one named Mitch or Frank, right? And then I look at the, uh, the girl's jeans and it's like Pat or Samantha or Jessica. And you know, I'm like, that should be switched. You know, the guy's jeans should have girls' names. Now, hear me out. Because, you know, I think that I'd rather slip into Samantha than have Dylan wrapped around my <laughs> So, uh, 
uh, I am a guy, so as a guy, I like to do things. So, you know, it might be late at night, I'll grab a blanket, walk towards the TV, everyone else is asleep, I'll turn on the TV, and of course watch Cops, because what the hell else am I going to watch? So I'm watching this episode of Cops, and uh, in, in this episode, it says Cops, and the uh, sirens are blaring, and the first thing the cop says is, is that a crab? So immediately, my attention is caught. So I'm watching the show, and, and so the cop walks over to the side of the road, and on the side of the road, there's a sheet of tin foil, and surrounded by candles, uh, and on top of the tin foil, there was a brown egg, uh, a pork chop, some body hair, a t-shirt, and a crab. Not just like a hermit crab, no, a massive crab, right? And uh, so the cop's like, oh, this must be uh, some sort of gang sign or something. I wonder what type of message they're trying to send. And I'm like, no, this, this really, this isn't a gang. This is just some pissed off woman trying to say, you know, you took me out for a romantic dinner only to, only to rip off my short, shirt, spread my loins to get at my egg, and now I've got crabs in my hair. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> all right, that's all my time. Thanks for watching. There's a man named Dylan backstage. Like to talk to you? It's <laughs> <laughs> frisky. <laughs> All right, our next act. Uh, by the way, before I even bring this guy out. You guys have been so awesome, so supportive. Great to hear your laughter. I know all the comedians backstage are having a whole lot of fun just listening. So thank you so much for bringing your A-game. Our next guy is here with his A-game as well. He's from yet another improv troupe here called Indulge Improv. He is quite simply the titanium Iranian. Please give it up for Meredith Durrani. 